darkness. I believe in a thing called love on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, you're Steve, Steve Merchant, you sure. That's little Carl Pilkington Carl over Pilkington. there. Where is he? There yeah, he is. There he is, yeah. Alright. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> back then, back together again. The old gang. Yeah, started last week. Yeah, I think. Triumphant return. I think it went well last week, didn't it, Carl? Good show, wasn't it? You loved it, didn't you, Carl? Brilliant, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, you weren't speaking to Suzanne last week at this time because <laughs> you said she had a haircut, probably quite an expensive haircut. She's a lady in media. She's got to look good. She goes, to, she probably doesn't go to the barber like you or just shave it at home. Probably spent quite a little bit of money on it. She came home. She thought, well, my, my, my lover. sweetheart, my lover, my <laughs> sweetheart, my, you know what I mean? The man my, in my, my life is gonna, is gonna love this. Well, he adores everything about me. He's gonna love my hair. She walked in. Hello, Carl. All right. You look like Dave Hill from Slade. <laughs> is what you said to the poor woman. And then talked about it on air. She was furious about that. Did so what did you do? Carl? She uh, did listen, yeah. She wasn't happy. And do you hear you slagging her hair off? Yeah. She, well, what so this is probably doing? annoying her now. <laughs> well, no, it doesn't matter. We can do a lot today because she's at work. <laughs> so, and of course, no one's going to tell her. Let's have a chat about a fat ass, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it all done. <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! You oh. are in so much trouble. That's. <laughs> Look, he's realised he has. He is a little bit worried. Oh, didn't you? Didn't you go and buy her a coat or something? Took, her, took her out on Sunday and treated her to a, a new coat and that. Yeah. But I offered. I and said as well. Coat. I said I'd pay. I said I'd pay to have it done again. Oh no, Carl! You have. Oh God! Oh my Christ! So she listened to the show. What did she say? You got home. She'd heard you slagging her hair off. I imagine. I mean, imagine that. I, he thinks that's a good thing. To, so like, we've won the pools. Brilliant. What are we doing? Well, you can have facial surgery now, love. <laughs> it's sort of like. It's just. Uh, Christ! You offered to have it done again. Unbelievable. What? But, but I, I, so, yeah, I, I got home and uh, she's like all being moody with me, right? <laughs> yeah. You thought and, someone's uh, wrong. She must have listened to the show yeah. when I was slagging off her hair. <laughs> well, well you, his first thought was she's probably looked at herself in the mirror. She <laughs> agrees with me. Yeah, yeah. That barber's been round again. Yeah. 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 And um, she just said, "Oh, that wasn't very nice of you, was it?" Oh. So I just said, "Hang on a minute." I said, "That's that's what we do on the show, when I'm slagging off, you know, Chinese people looking old or whatever." So you never interfere. Sure. I love the fact she's got to get her priorities. Right? I love the fact that she's in the same queue <laughs> as a billion people you've never met. Yeah, uh, yeah. that's fantastic. She's in the same queue. Well, they, well, you didn't complain well, no, when I was because Carl. Off. I don't think Carl has ever admitted he might be in the wrong ever. Certainly not to your eye. So did that you admit is so true, isn't it? That is so true. He's never admitted that he might be in the wrong. So did you, in this instance, agree that maybe you'd overstep the mark? No, I just said she she took it badly. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's only a haircut. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, well. so, Steve, you, you haven't see... seen it, so you can't you can't start interfering on sure. this one. No, okay. No, I haven't seen it, but I well. I, ver I very much doubt she looks like da Dave Hill from Slade, who, if I'm uh, unless I'm mistaken, used to cut his hair with garden shears blindfolded. <laughs> well. Um. So, you know what I mean? And did her teeth stick out when she started speaking with a Brummie accent as well? No, I've got used to it now, anyway. So, and so did you, you bought? So at one at some point you came crawling back and you said, "Do you want me? Do you want me to buy you a coat?" I just said, "Let's let's leave that. Let's go out and have a good weekend." Sure, but get your hat before we go. So. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh treat, God! Treat, treat, treat it to a new coat and that. Oh. It's, sort of, it's a nice coat, so it takes people will look at that rather than the hair. Look, looking at the head. So if anyone, it, does it do flash? It's got obscenities across the back. If anyone who knows Carl's girlfriend is listening, tell her. And um, maybe you're a work colleague and you're listening to the show. Because I think this is terrible. Get her to phone him now. Get her to phone him now. Uh, I mean, forget get her to phone the, phone on the XFM number. What's the, 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 what's the, what's the, what's the <laughs> fat ass uh, complaint line? <laughs> because you are in deep shite. <laughs> Cemetery Gates by the Smiths, of course, off the Queen is Dead. Album. Lovely tune. Great Makes tune. you happy, doesn't it? Absolutely. That's a nice song about dead people. Yeah, it's beautiful. I, um, just wondering, Rick, what your opinions are, what your thoughts are on. on Britney Spears? Uh, liked a couple. Bit bored. She, mm -hmm. I think she's panicking a little bit. I think she's a little bit desperate with all this Madonna stuff. Yeah, all the kind of lesbian Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Um, you know, um, yeah, she's alright. I've got nothing against the girl. 
Well, I read, I think it was in Hot Tickets magazine. Sure. Uh, it's free with the Evening Standard. Yeah. Um, oh, I might get some free Evening Standards now. I've plugged that. Yeah. Um, I, uh, was just reading in there that, I don't know if it's still gonna happen, but apparently she was gonna do a little cheeky appearance at G-A-Y. G-A-Y? The, in, uh, in London. And, uh, obviously I was quite excited, because I'm a Spears fan. You know, sorry, do you know that's what that spells, don't you? G-A-Y? Yeah. Gay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think it is a gay club. Oh, sure, this go is on. What I, this is what I was ascertaining from the article. Oh, because they've, yeah, so they've yeah, said, yeah, they've yeah, just yeah. said, they've called it what, sort of what it is. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, um, and it was, apparently she was gonna, she was gonna be, uh, previewing some of her new album, live on stage, at GAY, and that's an intimate venue, normally you'd have to see someone like Spears, probably at Wembley Arena, something like yeah. that. Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm a Spears fan, you know, get up a couple of the gang together. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Some of the lads. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, Cruise yeah. down there. Yeah. Uh, but then I read on in the article that apparently, the doorman at GAY were only gonna let in, uh, regulars, and the way they were going to ascertain if you were a regular was by asking a series of questions at the door. What, testing if you're testing really a... Now, I don't know if the questions would be about the interior of GAY. Or the interior of <laughs> someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or just, just general kind of, like, you know. what, what, Do you reckon you'd have passed the, uh, pretend... Well, that's what so I was, you, wondering, so I was you, wondering... So myself. you'd have had to pretend to be... GAY. GAY to get yeah. in to see Spears. Now that, you say gay on that, the radio? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, uh... But now, I, I'm that's, that's irony, like, isn't it? So you're pretending to be gay to get into a club to mm. see a bird that yeah, you like. Yeah, yeah, I've got, yeah. I'll, I'll give you a little quick test. <laughs> right. Shall I? Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, uh, well, sorry, what's your name, mate? Um, Paolo. All right, Paolo. Yeah. Um, you, right, it, you haven't done a lot with your hair, you just sort of let it, sort of let it grow out. I mean, yeah. would you be putting product on a bit later? Because, I mean, you don't look very, I've been sort of like, you don't, you look sort of quite... Quite masculine, quite. Yeah, well, sort of like, like you didn't care, like you have no care no, about no, no, how no, no, you no. look, like you're a. I no, mean, well, like... normally it would be shaved. Of course. Oh, okay. Yes. We would say normally that looks about like three months growth there. Why haven't you. I've been ill. <laughs> Nothing yeah. serious? Nothing serious. Okay. No, that's why I let it grow. So it's grown. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what, what time would you normally be going out then? Paolo? Normally I'd go out about sort of, uh, I'd go out about eight ish. I... Eight o'clock in the evening no, you've gone? No, 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 no. Because no, that I'd sounds go... a bit early, that's what... No, no I'd go out about three in the morning normally. Right, so I was like, yeah, okay, we'll right, so that's through. right, that's right, yeah. Where'd you go, down sort of... And oh, Compton Street for a coffee Street. and then yeah. on to <laughs> yeah. GAY like with that, your yeah. little shaved head. head. Yeah. Um, okay, well, well you, you, you're doing, you're doing fine. Sounding pretty good. Can I just ask you one final question? 20 I'm, bender points? Uh, it's 20 bender points, so I'm just gonna let you in. Okay, I'm just fine. gonna uh, tell the guys to let you in, but I'll ask one more question. Yeah. Do you prefer knobs or tits, oh. Paolo? Uh, well, uh, knobs. Knobs, you love no, knobs, do you? Okay, Can't no, get no, enough no. knobs, so you, what, you hate tits, I assume? Loathe them. Loathe you them. hate tits, do you? Yes. Okay. What, even Liza Minnelli's? <laughs> I don't know what to say. I... Yeah, I love hers. But not in a not in a straight not way. In a straight way. In a so okay, okay. So you, you love you love knobs more than tits, I love right? Knobs more than tits. Okay, okay. I love knobs. In you go. <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh, you know, Britney's on, do you? Oh, she is so sexy. Oh, but see, that's what would give me away. Like I know. A great escape. It's just just the last. Yeah. You just well, you, you're. I, I mean, I think you're probably a bit bi. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. but I mean, go in anyway. Thanks yeah. very much. Okay, the drinks are quite expensive. Oh, so. Pop your shirt off, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, Outcast on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. You alright, Carl? Yeah, yeah, not bad. Yeah? Just, um, when you were talking just now about, like, like the gay stuff. Yeah. Right, I don't know if you saw, uh, the thing the other week about the fella who's on that quiz show. Who? Sort of- Oh, right, okay. Gay Who? fella, straight, sort of man, man-woman. What are you talking about? What, what, tell me the, what, 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 what did you see? Tell me what you saw. It's uh, This is like a kid come running in, and he's, <laughs> he's seeing something frightening, it might, yeah. could be an alien, could be a ghost, could be a paedophile, <laughs> and you've got to get exactly what actually saw out of him. <laughs> right, what did you actually see? It's just this, this fella who's a, who's a woman. Right. Um, <laughs> right, okay, right, try and talk like a f human being. Right. It's, it's a quiz show that's coming on the telly, and, um, it's this, this woman. 
<laughs> right, is it a fella who's a woman, or is it a woman? A bit of both, that's why I'm talking about it. But what do you mean? Is it a pre-op, is it a transsexual, a transvestite, it's, it's just, is it a lady boy, it. is it an hemaphrodite, what is it? I'll tell you about it. Well, tell, tell me. You. I'm telling you. It's, it's, it's a woman, N well, it's a man. <laughs> oh, for f- oh, no, forget listen, it. Listen. Play a record. No, listen. No, come on. What? It's, 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 it, it. is a man. He is a man. Well. <laughs> It's a TV program where they've got this transvestite or a, television. It is a transvestite, yeah. So, but, it, but the problem is, uh, I'll tell you just because you don't know about it. The program is. I don't know. I still don't know about <laughs> it. I don't know anything about it. Still, I don't know. It's a woman, man, man, woman, man, man, woman, TV, TV program, t TV. No, it's a, it's a man who is now sort of half a woman. <laughs> and <laughs> a man who is now half a woman. No, well, this is what's weird about it. He's, <laughs> he's got the top half. <laughs> but not the bottom half. What do you mean? Out. He's got breasts and a wig, but he's still got his his boys downstairs. He's Why got do you do that? His, his caps and the boys what are still there with his wife fronts. Why but upstairs, that? he's got a lovely pair of dumplings. Why do that? Well, he's halfway through. But why not get it all done in one one go? Maybe he couldn't afford it. Well, wait until you've got all the money. That just looks a mess. <laughs> And who's he pleasing there? Uh, <laughs> when he wakes well, up in the morning and pleases himself, he can't believe his luck, he doesn't yeah. know where to start. <laughs> no, but what I don't understand, I mean, do, you know, I don't want to see him- Well, can I just finish that sentence? What you don't understand, it's just about everything. <laughs> yeah. Right, what- no, uh, what? I find it weird, right, I sort of get- I, I understand the, the gay thing, right? <laughs> but- Do you? What do you mean? Well, you know, I, I know- Well, I know, tell me the gay thing, explain well, the gay I thing. I just know, if you, you're a fella, you like, you like men, I don't know much more than that. What do you mean you don't know? But what I mean is- <laughs> With a transvestite, what's going on there? What what do they want? A transvestite is is, is a a, a cross dresser. See, I don't I don't get that either. <laughs> because you mean a transsexual? That's, somebody, that's a man who likes to dress in women's clothing. It's not necessarily they're not necessarily gay. They're not or gay. They're often anything. not gay. They just happen to like wearing women's Those clothes. Those clothes, aren't yeah. But, but then why not wear women's clothes that could be seen as a bloke's like Suzanne wears jeans. No, but they yeah, just but that's buy the thing. Jeans. But that's 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 their problem, is it? They 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 like being seen as a as a as a as a woman. They like being seen as a woman. It's not just that it's more comfortable. or They wear a kilt. They like being seen as a woman. They feel more comfortable. All right. And what's the deal with this fella who's got? We don't both. know who this fella is. No, we don't know this man who's half a woman. He's called Miriam. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. I love this scientific basis. No, I think- So all he's done, he's, he's had the tits done, he's probably had the hormones, probably lived as a woman for a while. The last step, that- cos you can probably reverse the breasts anyway, cos they're- they're probably implants and hormonal things and- whereas you- you chop your knob and, um, boys off, that's, you know, you come back the next day and go, sorry, I didn't mean that, I- I wanted my ears pierced. It's a bit more of a bigger operation to put them back. So- Doctors are probably making sure that he's just I'm sure absolutely. If you've had the top half done, you're not going to go back on what you've said. But no, what's the top half being done? You, 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 I could have, I could get you breast implants, give you a bit of hormonal treatment. No, that and you would could be a great idea for next week. <laughs> and, and you could reverse it. What you can't do is grow a knob back. Well, you can. Last week we were talking about growing one on your arm. Yeah, we've done that. We've come to that. <laughs> so that is possible. <laughs> but the thing is, I, the truth of it is, I think I do know about this story. I think it was a television program called "There's Something About Miriam." The oh. conceit of which was that this pre-op transsexual. So I guess that right, yeah. Um, was masquerading as a woman, right? And various blokes, un who didn't realise that this was a man, <gasps> had to uh, oh, I've heard try about and this. seduce him, her. And when they found out that it was actually a bloke, and they, a lot of them had kissed uh, I him, agree. her, they uh, they refused to let it be shown. I, I, agree, I agree, though. I, 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 that's just terrible. Yeah, that's oh, deceit. Absurd. But I mean, you know. That's awful. I, 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 yeah, I hated that. Yeah. 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 So, so what, um, I think it was a Sky One program. Is there anything other than The Simpsons on Sky One that's worth watching? <laughs> Have you ever tried to watch that? Have you ever seen Kirsty's Home Videos? Yes. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's things like, it's dogs, dogs on a slide, babies falling over. Do you know, it's uh, only recently reduced from an hour in length. Really? It's been an hour long, and it was just, if you haven't seen it, it's just like camcorder footage, like you know what I like? people falling I, over. I like an old woman at a wedding falling over and showing her bloomers. <laughs> That's, That's my favourite. But I like it when it's Kirsty's uh, home videos uncut. So it's kind of four old women, like, naked. With their tits falling windsurfing. out. Windsurfing. Oh, Christ, it, it, imagine it, that. Does it whistle? Well, 
It's just a. It's just. I mean, th have you ever really sat and watched anything on on Sky One? No. That wasn't The Simpsons, Simpsons or, I think or, or Star Trek. I think that's what I watch on. I, I think that's or pretty wrestling. much what I watch. Wrestling. They have WWF wrestling, cartoons, and just the worst programs. I mean, it's I've appalling. seen a bit of the wrestling. It's it's hilarious. It but is it's hilarious. Like a, it's like a station that's made by a fourteen-year-old boy. Yeah. Well, I think I think that's probably what it is, isn't it? Yeah. That, I mean, that's exactly the demographic. Do you like Sky One, Carl? Uh, I haven't got I haven't got a satellite ever. So why can't why not? I thought you'd have loved that. No, I would love it. I'd oh, Discovery it. Channel's know, all know, about know, know, know. slugs and that and weird stuff like that. I know. Chimps. I was reading there's about a, slugs the other day. There's a thing uh, on one of the channels called Monkey Business. Yeah, I watched that. Yeah. Because I was doing that thing, wasn't I, with Richie Bacon? Yeah. Where you can watch the telly and that. You're and talking riddles. Mm. You actually talk in riddles and yeah. forget a play record. You should be the gatekeeper in some kind of Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> kind of quiz game. Uh, uh, all right, yeah. Let me enter. All right, yeah, but I was doing that thing with Richard Bacon. What can he mean? <laughs> what what can he mean? mean? He is the wise There's one. There's a man Just who's also a woman. Yeah, yeah. The upper is half it? is, but is the bottom. Yeah, play record. Bit of clash. Oh, yeah. Let's Come play. on. Train in vain. XFM. On oh. the 4.9. Johnny Cash, Hurt, on XFM, 104.9. That's brilliant, isn't it? Good. I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. So, what have we done? We've done gays, transvestites. Have we done knob use yet, or...? It's nice it? that you can talk about pre-op transsexuals nowadays on the radio. I know. You know, without the fear of complaints or... I know. Listeners. <laughs> listeners, that's the thing. If we had any listeners, we'd get complaints, we really wouldn't would. we? We really would. We'd get some serious complaints if yeah. anyone cared enough. That's to why pick we haven't gone to, a, to a, a decent station with you know. A big we audience. would never do on a, on a real radio station. We could never do this. No. Could we? Why We'd not? Why not? See, I, I'm not doing this to like mess about and offend anyone. I think it's an interesting topic. What you talking gobbledygook? Not really knowing what. An yeah, Carl, what woman, Carl, for the first five minutes, you couldn't talk. What? <laughs> 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 okay. Look, um, although, although, with, you know, the, the you know, who's the biggest, most professional person in radio? It's probably Terry Wogan, isn't mm. it? And it was it you that said you can't tell what the sentence he's saying because no. he keeps going up at the end before. But he and never. After. There's well, never well, any well, punctuation. Well, is, yeah. So yeah. he'll just segue from one point to the next. So he'll be like, going on my holidays Friday. We're having a lovely time, says <laughs> Mrs. Scorby Sheen <laughs> of Westminster. I'm thinking of going to Greece. Uh, Oh, and it's halfway. So, uh, so he's got his knobs, but he's still got the tits. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah, typical, <laughs> typical. Oh, hello, Paolo. Do you well, want to come into my club yeah, to see? I'd love to go. Britney Spears, Britney Spears. Is a massive fan. Yeah, well, it doesn't start for a while. It's sure. uh, it's only about eight o'clock, and you know you're not going out for hours yet. I no, 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 eight no, or seven. No, no. But um, might as well watch a bit of telly. We've got uh, FA Cup final. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Just there, that's a good one, isn't it? Uh, or we've got, um, the Eurovision Song Contest. What do you want to watch, Paolo? Oh, blimey, blimey. Well, I love all the, um, the camp and lame right. of the Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah. But I, oh, is that David Beckham playing? Because I love him oh, and his I see hair what and done. his legs. See what you've done. You see? So you will watch the football, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you'll be mainly looking at Just the... looking at the, the, the legs and the tight, yeah. the tight shorts. So while Beckham's knocking him in, <laughs> you'll be... <laughs> exactly, knocking <laughs> one, um... Right. Let's, uh... Do you know, I remember, I don't, I mean, I never really looked, but when you see old clips of, say, early 80s footballers, the shorts are much tighter, aren't they? I think, I mean, I don't know, I don't <laughs> I look. Don't really know. I don't I look. Do really you, looking. I remember oh. Carl was saying when he went and there was two strippers, a bloke <laughs> and a woman, and they whipped off their clothes at the same time, and you looked straight at the boys' Yeah, everybody pack. would. You would have done. Right. You do do. You do do? You look at his do do? <laughs> what do you mean? You look at his do do? No, but... I'm just saying, if you were there, you would have done the same. Two people on the stage. Yeah. Woman and a man. Yeah. They were getting the clothes off. Yeah. Right? The fella <laughs> took his pants off the same time as the girl took her knickers off. Yeah, right. right? All I'm saying is it's human nature to have a, have a quick look, have a quick glance, see what's going on. <laughs> see what's going on! And what then I wanted, I wanted to look at the woman, but she put her knickers back on quick. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't live opposite from you, did she? <laughs> but just, sorry, just to return briefly to the shorts question. I, yeah. It's only because... In the 30s and 40s, they were huge shorts, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. I mean, genuinely massive, like... Yeah, uh, huge. A small child could well, wear them as trousers, they were... I so think that's to do with comfort and decency, though, isn't it? And then, but by the sort of 80s, there was barely any shorts there. I think that was fashion. 
but it's weird that it's you feel like at some point someone's gone guys i mean they've gone too today, small but <laughs> it's ludicrous but that's but that's what happened isn't it because you know it's things get bigger and bigger and bigger and then they get smaller and smaller and smaller yeah. and fashion it's like like flares yeah. drain pipes yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. heels flat yeah tall hats <laughs> flat hats <laughs> yeah what make of the mini skirt uh long hair skinhead <laughs> yeah. mini skirt uh again i don't know they i'm, I'm sure there's been Ten resurgences of miniskirts yeah. since '65, whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's fashion. So the short. Uh, you know what? Do you know what I think, Steve? I think the shorts get smaller again before we die. <laughs> I think we'll see one more tight little packet <laughs> of Premiership footballers running round with their awful squeezed yeah. like uh, like uh, the last chicken in a butcher's window, the almost protruding. wrapped up. Yeah, yeah. Well, imagine if they just wore cling film shorts so you could see what was happening there, Carl. Where would you look then? Because you like football, don't you? We're doing Rockbusters. <laughs> oh, I should have so. Go on, then. Oh. Right, uh, we brought it back. Uh, this is where I give a cryptic clue. Well. And some initials. Yeah. And you work it out and you win some stuff. Uh, yeah. I was gonna tell you what the prizes are. Needless to say, they're mediocre prizes for a mediocre quiz. Sure, okay, yeah. Oh, Where's well, right, DVDs and VHS, and VHS yeah. And yeah, 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 yeah. VHS, who's still got that? Right, so there's three, three of them. And what you can do now, we've tweaked it a bit. Okay. You can text in. Mm hmm Right, so you can email or text. We've tweaked it a bit. Mm. Right? <laughs> 83XFM is the text, or it's ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Is that what this? it is? 83XFM? That's it. That is good, though, and mm. it's convenient, because who's got their laptop up and running and exactly. texting? On so it's just with your phone. Brilliant. All right. Mine so, couldn't do that. I don't know how to do that on my phone. I don't know how to get... What do you my, mean? Huh? What do you mean? My brother wanted my postcode. He said, text it to me. Mm. I couldn't work out how to do WC and That's 1. because you're an old man. It's so I had, to, I had to write out double U C 1. Oh, for goodness sake. I didn't know how to do it. I it, it, just, it won't do it for me. Pathetic. It's ridiculous. Go well, on. Well, it's 83936 if, if you have that problem. Right? Right, come on. Get on with the quiz. I right, don't know. Three, There's too many numbers now. Three, uh, three clues. Here we go. First one is, uh, this Teletubby has got lice. Right? This Teletubby has got lice. This Teletubby has got lice. Right. The initial there is P, so it's a band or an artist yep. that starts with P, and the clue is, this Teletubby has got lice. Right? Yep. Um, second one. <sighs> I'm, I'm really, already not holding out much hope I for know, this. I know. Working out. Go on. Uh, right. Second one. I've just messed that first one up. Thing, right? <laughs> oh, for Christ. But wh when what? I give it out later, it'll be, we'll, I'll sneak it in without, right? Just don't repeat anything I say. You're an idiot. Listen, you really are an idiot. No, play a record. record. No, play a record. Play a record. You're a fool. Play no, a record. Let, let me just no, no, no. Press the no, button. you've ruined button. it. It's a, you're an idiot. It's off. Ludicrous. Red Vines by Amy Mann. Brilliant, that, isn't it? Very good. On XFM 104.9. Well, um, Carl mucked up Rockbusters, as usual. I mean, it's, uh, you know what? I like it when he mucks up early because it doesn't waste people's lives sure. for 40 minutes realizing he's mucked up at the end. Yeah. So, obviously, people are already. They, they know what it is. They know what it is already. They've said, well, it's police, isn't it? You meant to say nits instead of lice. Yeah. You're an idiot. So that one's gone. So what, what have you got next? Right, so that's just an idea. If you haven't heard it before, that's that's how my head works. Right, this Teletubby has got nits. So Poe. P, so Poe is a Teletubby. Yeah. Uh, so th so when he says cryptic, it's not only what the what the answer is, it's what the question was meant to be. Sure. So... Alright, so there's only two, so you've got even a better chance of winning than that. Well... So, the second one is, I'm saving that money to buy condoms. Alright? Think about it. Easy. Too easy. J right. J C. Yeah, right. well that's too- that, uh, so everyone's got that one. I feel like saying it now. Yeah, but so don't- that's, don't Well that's say rubbish. It now. Yeah, but you've got to have an easy one in there, otherwise people get bored, don't First you? one was easy, we gave them the answer. Yeah, but- hang on. <laughs> that's the easiest one we've ever had. Police. And the- and the- th and the second one is- Yeah. Uh, when you're making bread, add a little bit of colour for a change. Alright? When you're making bread, add a little bit of colour, just change things a little bit. What are the initials? Right? D. Just D. Just D. Right? right? So, what you've got there, I'm saving that money to buy condoms, the initials mm -hmm. JC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's easy, yeah. Nice. And, uh, and when you're making some bread, just chuck some, chuck some 
colour in there. Sure. You know what I mean? Chain, yeah. Change yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that be, was, yeah, like the clue. The clue changes every time. <laughs> yeah. The clue changes every time. <laughs> Unlike <laughs> the Times crossword, the clue changes every time it's said. 83 XF, everyone, <laughs> text it. Or it's Ricky Dr. Bays at xfm.co.uk. Rubbish. Pointless. David Bowie and Waterloo Sunset. Love that. Love the original. Yeah. Love that one. Love the original. On yeah. XFM 104.9. Good work to David Bowie and the Kinks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big time. Big time. Um. Reading the paper there, yeah, Steve. Yeah, well, I don't normally read the paper, but, no. um, I was having a glance through the Daily Express. Does anyone read the Express? Well, um, you do at the moment, look. <laughs> well, true. Live on air. Yeah. Read but, it out and then, uh, about 400 people have know what's in it. <laughs> I just read, I was obviously attracted, uh, by this little news item, Gun Go Raid on. by Three Saddams. Uh, three armed men- Oh, they're up to their old tricks again, yeah, are they? Yeah. yeah. Three armed men wearing Saddam Hussein masks were on the run last night after robbing a corner shop. The raiders threatened the worker with a handgun and knife, ordering him to open the till, blah, 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 get the money out. And it says that they also tried to rob an earlier shop earlier in the day. Police said, we are linking the raids because the descriptions of the offenders are very similar. <laughs> <laughs> what was the what did the first one not quite get yeah, right? Yeah. Well, they looked very similar. <laughs> I think it was Gaddafi, three Gaddafis. Right, because that's weird. Because we've had three yeah, Saddam Hussein's down. Oh, Saddam, down the road. that's what I meant. Is Saddam it the same guys? Because I, well, I assume so. I wouldn't have thought. I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, no, 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 get no, the Gaddafi guys same. on the Saddam Hussein no, charge. I, no, I, I'm, I'm almost sure <laughs> it, it'd be the same way. I didn't know. I, one's got a moustache, haven't they? One like a devil, or they all got a moustache. I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, it's there were three blokes with masks. Middle Eastern appearance. I don't know, but I mean, I imagine it's the same. I am um, because I've, I've only ever seen really um, robberies being planned in films. Sure. So I don't know how it works. I assume that. So you say? <laughs> yeah. But I assume at some point someone's got to get together. One of them, the ringleaders, got to get together and go. Okay, well, we need to wear masks, obviously, just because I'm yeah. I'm thinking of going with the regular stockings. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'll tell you, it'll be funny. <laughs> well, I don't want to be funny. Well, I don't know. I we want to strike fear into the hearts of yeah, people Yeah, but, I mean, kill two birds with one stone, we get the robbery, and we have a laugh with it. Fear? Do you, do you say you want to strike fear? Well, wear a mask of someone who's really scary. Who's the scariest bloke in the world? Well, I, I don't know, Saddam Hussein? I've got three of them. <laughs> well, what, why? I've got, th I've got three of them. Let's all wear Saddam Hussein. It'd be a laugh. Well, it's not, I don't want it to be a laugh. I'm no, robbing but a bank. Don't hurt if we're having a laugh, and that's what I want, I want to make money and have a laugh. <laughs> why? A laugh that's why well, I'm yeah. only in the money, I'm only in it for the money, well, the yeah, laugh's I mean, not important to well, me. Well, no, it's- we, Fear, we, I want to strike fear. We could also make a political point. I don't want to make a political no, point. No, you just want the money. I'm a thug, I'm well, not I'm well, not We could have a laugh and we could make a political point. Why not? What political point? We're not- we you know, maybe we're sort of stealing from the rich and giving- We're not Robin Hood. Never mind Robin Hood, let's rob Barclays. That's what, the... Why are you making jokes? Well, I mean, don't worry, I'm going to do my stuff. I'm going to do my stuff. <laughs> you wanna, so... You're a comedian, you don't, I'm not <laughs> well, sure you let's should just be in this wear the mask. Let's wear the masks. <laughs> How did it happen? <laughs> did they go and buy them? It's separately, look, look, spread yeah. out. Look, you go to the joke shop in Covent Garden, yeah. I'll go to the one in Southampton Row. Yeah. Brilliant. See, I, cause it's so often the case that they're using masks, it used to be Reagan, Thatcher, they were always a, if I was the guy selling those, like, when three guys came in, three shifty looking blokes to yeah. buy three identical masks. Yeah, in stockings. <laughs> in stockings. Just so <laughs> they that, don't know who we are. Sorry, yeah. can I just check, you're not gonna rob. Definitely not. With these masks. But just think of the police looking at those robbers. Uh, every time they go past one of those awful sort of gift shops, they think <laughs> that, oh no, it's just a, <laughs> it's just in the window there with, uh, yeah. with Michael Jackson <laughs> and uh, Shirley Bassey. Yeah, George Bush. Oh, Paolo, can I ask you something? I yeah. know you love knobs and that, and you hate tits. Yeah. What about Shirley Bassey's tits? I don't, well, I mean, I'm a fan of them because I'm a fan of Shirley, but I don't like them. You know, you cool, sexy. Yeah, you're, you're pretty bent. You are pretty bent. <laughs> Come <good>. in. <laughs> Thanks for Br Britney's on in seven hours. Excellent. Yeah, what are you doing yeah. out at this time? No, no, no. I just came out to uh, get some uh, nope. milk. <laughs> yeah, get some, uh, get some cock in the toilet. Uh, Carl. Plenty of answers, right. Carl, so far for your. Um, I say yeah. quiz, I'm not sure that's really valid. Yeah, loads coming in. We're giving away some more stuff later as well. Okay. That film thing, that's coming up. Coming up. That's when you that. put yourself into a, a, a famous film yeah. and you act out. Is that, is that it? You've yeah. Done, you've done The Graduate, haven't you? Done The Graduate, done Silence of the Lambs, yeah. done uh, Billy Elliot. I, I liked it where you were, um, what was your one, uh, a Sixth Sense? Sixth I see sense. weird stuff. Yeah, The Sixth Sense was good. <laughs> So well, that's coming up later. We're doing that later. That's well. We we'll look forward to that. Look forward to we're that. We're pretty excited about that. Yeah. I'm assuming we've got some great music as well. Uh, still like that. Thorns. Yeah. Thorns. Oh, I'm obsessed with this now. This is uh, the Thorns, and uh, I can't remember on XFM 104.9. Brilliant. <laughs> Strokes. 
1251 on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkington. Not done a lot. Maybe you should earn your money as you get to Mondays off for this two hours of nonsense. What are you on about? I've done loads of stuff. Go slag, on what? slag Suzanne off. Yeah, brilliant. First link. Yeah. Talks about trannies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Same old, same old. Yeah. Let's have something new. Something Come fresh. On. Well, I've been looking around, right, on the, on the internet for stuff. Yeah. On the internet? Yeah. Your Bible, mm -hmm. where you get all your information about the world and the universe <laughs> and morality from. And do you know, like, how I always say to you, I don't really read that much of it, I just read, read the headline. Perfect. Right? Yeah. Anna Nova, I sort of nicked that idea to grab you. <laughs> right. so you to, nicked what idea? Well, to sort of get to the meat straight away at the top. Do you know what I mean? The, the headline to the story and everything. What? Right, these are stories. But the headlines already existed. That was why you thought nah, that was a good not idea. Not like this, though. All right. <laughs> Headline. Well, these are all headlines, right? Vibrating shoes could stop elderly falling. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know oh, what I mean? Oh, God. You don't need... Vibrating shoes could stop elderly falling. Yeah, that's the story. <laughs> you don't need to read on. That's what I'm saying. Well, right, could you busy. read on anyway? I can't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> read on I mean. anyway. Well, read... you have a look at that in a bit, right? All right. So, oh, okay, so what this is frustrating right. radio if you're sitting at home. No, well, you, you, it's not on. They've turned it off. If yeah. you want to know more, you know where to go. That's what I'm saying. That's what they should do in the news. <laughs> Get the news done in, Bong. in, in a minute. There's a good story about Iraq. <laughs> right. Bong. Right. Have right. A, look it up. Give look it up a, on the internet. Hand and over. Give us another bong. Bong. Family sick of living on Butthole Road. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, brilliant. oh, brilliant. Bong. Man wears same shoes for 60 years. <laughs> Oh, bong! This isn't that good. Uh, some fella pulls a train with his teeth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. And in lighter news. I love it, Matt. Triple Donald, this one isn't very good. And oh. uh, the last one, man fails to break clothes pegs on face record. <laughs> She's always good. Well, that's, that's the one I did read on about. <laughs> I love that out of all those. That's the one he read on about. Go on, then. Just, um... Why is that news? He fails to make a record. Mm. So did I today. <laughs> I, know, yeah. I failed the long jump record today. <laughs> yeah. Didn't even take part. No. <laughs> I was rubbish. But what are the rules on on world records and that? I don't I don't know if there are rules. There are certain things you can't I mean it's it's the Guinness Book of Records, isn't it, really, that's the arbiter, isn't it? Yeah, but is there anything if you said you wanted to do it, would they say, Well you can't do that? Yeah, they've they've stopped some gluttony records, obviously things that are in danger. It's anything that's illegal. Yeah, anything that's immoral. Yeah, like that, that American serial killer that just got discovered yeah. having killed 47 women. I don't think he can make that into the Guinness Book of Records. No, because uh, people would be trying to beat it, won't they? <laughs> but there was some, some other story about a fella eating watches and that. That can't be good for you. So why don't they say, look, don't do that, do something else. He wanted to stay regular. <laughs> do you know what, what do I mean, you mean? No. I just, I just wondered what if What do you mean he was eating watches? He just said he was eating watches. He, he got he, yeah, about three in about a minute. How did he, how did he time it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean, though? And then, the other thing is, the one, the one that I was reading, the world record, with the fellow who's pulling a train, with his mm. teeth. Mm. Does, does that make any difference, that he's done it with his teeth? What do you mean? Well, what difference does it make? Well, isn't it, it's quite hard to pull a train with your teeth, I imagine. Well, it's pretty hard to pull a train. <laughs> All I'm saying is, is it is it because he couldn't beat the fella who's pulling it with his hands? Well, that's so just, this is bit. my point. There's the, I think there was the one bloke with the record for the backwards running backwards hundred meters was sort of like eleven and a half seconds, and I was thinking, turn around, you'd probably you'd probably have a really good go at that. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's sort of like doing a marathon with a milk bottle on your head. Take the milk bottle off and see how fast you can go, you twat. <laughs> but you can just tweak it, like the fella who has done the pegs on the face, right? Yeah. Um, his name's Gary Stretch Turner. Right. Right. So, sort of cheating already if he's, if he's got a stretchy head. Right? <laughs> but, but- You are, right, <laughs> d you are one of the most stupid humans I have ever met. Well, get me in the book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, listen. So, Gary- Gary Stretch Turner, right, his record <laughs> is 153 pegs. Yeah. He did it again, and he only got 150 on. <laughs> so he hasn't broke his own record. Right. But what I'm saying is, if he tweaked it a bit more, would that make a new record? What? Well, if, if he said, 
I've got 150 pegs on, but at the same time he's eating a burger. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you mean, yeah. yeah. He'd be the, or, or the it, world or record breaker for pegs and eating burgers at the same time. Yeah, just change it a bit. If you know you're not going <laughs> to make it, just do something else. I'm assuming the rules are set at the beginning, Carl. That's yeah. it. That's where they say, right, you're just going to do the pegs thing. You're not going to introduce burgers halfway through, are you? Definitely not. <laughs> and okay. then they have a go. I was on one leg, not interested. How many pegs? 150. Can I just ask very briefly, I was quite interested by the family had to move because <laughs> they lived on Butthole Road. Yeah, I quite like that now, one. Now, I, I don't know if I've told you before, Rick, where I used to live. I'm not going to tell you the name of the street that I used to live on, because not on air, because my parents still live there and I don't want right. you know. But I'm going to write it for you now. This is the name, the genuine name of the street I used to live on. Just imagine when you're at school. Yeah. And oh. like in class, for instance, in French, you've got to say, they've got, you've got to answer where you live. Yeah. J'habite, wherever. Yeah. That's the name. This is actually the name of the street we lived on. No, it's not. I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> that is... I'm absolutely right. I could phone my father now and he could confirm that for well, you. No, I swear because he doesn't want to... To that's... God. And I'll tell you that... What? But listen, do you know what worries me? It's the apostrophe S. I know. Because that's blatant. Yes. Amazing, isn't it? That is incredible. Imagine how embarrassing So that if was. I look that up in the Bristol... You will find that in the Bristol A to Z. I swear that to God. That is really... Why have you never told me that before? I can't believe I haven't. That's I'm incredible. I'm still embarrassed now. Do you know if whenever I have to phone up, if I have to give that address, I always spell it instantly. Really? Like somehow that will hide it. That will disguise the name. But it's interesting. My friend Rufus, his parents lived in a place called Fockingham. <laughs> right? This is amazing when he was growing up. They, li he lived, they lived in Fockingham. Yeah. They moved... <laughs> To a village called Fingering Ho. No! I swear to God. Really? Amazing. Oh, well, God. Perhaps you come from an amusing town or street. Hello, well, mate. Fingering, Fingering Ho or Fuckingham? <laughs> well, that's my business. <laughs> exactly. Well, this this family who's sick of living on uh, Butthole Road, <laughs> right, said the thing that pushed them over the edge was the sign was outside their house, and tourists were always coming, sort of having the picture taken with the pants down <laughs> next to the sign. Sure. Oh, sure. no. Well, that's, that's the thing that. What's Push it called? Him. Butthole Road? Butthole Road, yeah. Well, yeah, that's bad luck, isn't it? That is bad luck, isn't it? Who named it that, though? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but it's not as if they've named it that after they've moved there. They bought the house knowing, oh, there's a lovely house here, so where, where you live, what road it's on? Well, They're not gonna go, well, it doesn't matter, look at the house. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Well, where, where am I going? Where am I seeing this Well, house? I'll take you there, I'll take you there. I'll take you there. Well, so, you don't need to look, just don't, don't look at that sign, just come into that lovely house, isn't it? It is nice, yeah. Well, my family wants to come later to have a well, look at it. Well, just tell them to, I'll meet, um, I'll meet them by the bus stop and I'll drive them here. <laughs> you don't need to, you don't need to know where you're going. You just, you'll just sort of know, won't you? You'll know from then on. How will we get letters? Have them delivered to me if you want. I'll, I'll bring them, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll bring them round. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. That's incredible. But I can't get over that. Where Steve used to live. That's extraordinary, isn't it? Anyway, if you perhaps live in Tits Avenue, yeah. you know, or, um, Wankling Drive. <laughs> Wankling Drive, just get in touch. Let yeah. us know. We're not really interested. But it no. might fill up five minutes. Let's play a record. Let's come back with another of Carl's amazing quizzes. I'm going to Spunkton later. <laughs> <laughs> If I was your girlfriend by Prince on XFM 104.9. Yeah. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, yeah, Carl yeah, yeah. Pilkington. Big time. We've had quite a few uh, calls. Greg used to live in a place in South Africa called Arsagay. Arsagay? Arsagay. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. Paul's uh, friend's parents live in Fart Town just outside <laughs> Leeds. <laughs> Fart Town. Which is nice, isn't it? <laughs> That's just ridiculous. And uh, Dean uh, used to live in Butts Farm. Hamworth. Butts Farm. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, that's yeah. Uh, obviously. I, I assume they're free range, but sure. they're not sort yeah. of battery farm butts. That, that, yeah, that would be horrible. But uh, yeah, you think that that would be great to just name a town. wouldn't I it? I think if I, yeah, I was thinking if I was a like a multi billionaire, a Bill Gates type figure, I'd yeah. like to buy somewhere, like say Manchester, and just rename it. And Whing rename, whinging on the wall. Whinging on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and make maybe them work. We can work Mondays. Exactly. They'd be obliged to. to that would have to be what it's called. Yeah. It's the rules. It'd be like mayor. Yeah. It'd oh, great. it'd be great as mayor, wouldn't you? You, well, you want to be mayor of Chinatown, don't you? I'd like to be mayor of Chinatown. It seems to me that there's not a great deal to do. No. Because it's not really a town. No, exactly. But, I've, it's just a but who can we street. talk to about that? Who can go and say, look, look you've got to stop calling this a town? Because at best it's a novelty street well, with, I... some, with some slippy pavements yeah. near restaurants. I, uh, I actually got stopped the other day by two tourists who said, do you know the way to Chinatown? And I really wanted to say to him, it's a disappointment. It's not a town. <laughs> Seriously, it's not worth it. Pop in, pop in a record shop. Do something else. Yeah. Pop in Garfunkel's. <laughs> 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 Have some delicious sausage and mash. But you'll get to Chinatown, you'll go, this is not a town. Yeah. Yeah. 
with the, uh, have you got a town hall? Mm, got a betting shop? <laughs> yeah. Not really a town. I don't think you could build a town entirely out of restaurants. <laughs> 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 That's not enough. You need more stuff. Oh, dear. Uh, a lot of old people I've noticed there, Carl. Aren't there? Let's leave that, eh? What? We'll leave it. Leave what? the old- Leave uh, what? Just got to John. He was just emailed and he said my secondary school was- <laughs> my secondary school was on a street simply called Bell End. <laughs> that's Bell End, really? Yep. Oh, that's, that's great. Um, there's uh, a road in Cricklewood somewhere called Clitterhouse Drive. <laughs> Clitterhouse? Yeah, I don't think you can really get that. You can't get them on that, that's fine. No, that's fine. Um, no, that guy's just having a laugh, just taking the mick, get a lot of that sort of thing. There's a place in America, apparently, Ben's emailed this in, there's a place in America called, uh, My Anus. My anus? Yeah. I think I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah. My anus, yes, I have heard of that. That's, that's, that's unlucky. Uh, yeah, that is unfortunate. Where do you live, my, where do you live, my <laughs> anus? <laughs> I've, got, I've, got, I've got a letter for you. Where should I, <laughs> where should I send it? <laughs> All right, don't get cheeky. <laughs> anyway, just rather than reading out the A to Z, right, mm -hmm. are we doing Rockbusters answers? <laughs> oh! Yeah. Go on then. Right, Listen, this is this is built. This has got Chris Moyles, the Breakfast Show on Radio One. <laughs> this yeah. sort of stuff. Well, Go on. Uh, have, we, have we got a winner, Steve? Did we you have. Know? I'll check that in a minute. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. well, you, you find a find a good winner. Yeah. yeah. Are the Rockbusters clues. The first one was this Teletubby has got no. mitts. Well, we know. No, this no, one. No, We've no, done no, that. That yeah. was Poe Lice. Yeah. yeah. Right. Rubbish. You ruined it. All right. The second one. I'm saving that money to buy condoms. Too easy, Johnny Cash. That was Johnny yeah. Cash. Rubbish. And the third one was, w when you're making bread, add a bit of colour for a change and sort of, you know, change the colour of it. Right. Right? That was dye dough. <laughs> <laughs> they got that. <laughs> Give us a winner. Well, this is, uh, the reason I've given this person the prizes is just because she's from Switzerland. Sure. She's listening in Geneva in Switzerland. So, I mean, good luck to Tina. And she wins those prizes. Who did she want to win the war? Don't know. I don't think she had an opinion. Really? You sure? Yeah. They say that, but I, I reckon... I reckon they wanted us to win, really. Think so? I reckon so. Do you think that was true of all the wars? They were always on our side, really. I'd get her to, uh, I'd get her to just if she's still there. Who did most Swiss people, maybe sort of like over fifty, want to win the war? The England Swiss or Germany? War or the original war? The second world war. The best war. Yeah, the, the, main, the main the main one. one. Yeah. But, uh, so just just uh, just as a poll, in her opinion, uh, so so ask people over sort of like fifty or sixty, right? Just quickly do it in the next ten minutes. Who did they really? Are they neutral? But who did they really want to win? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> England. Yeah, we know you're oh, neutral, but yeah, it's but 50 odd years England, later. Germany. We come up with great games, don't we? Hey. <laughs> Bad day, an REM on XFM 104.9. It's Carl's Quiz. Mm -hmm. It's a classic film. He's done some jiggery pokery. He's in the film. It's his favourite film of all time. I thought The Elephant Man was your favourite film of all time. It's up there, but but this is like, this this film's got everything. It's got hilarious bits in it. It's got sad bits in it. I've got the headphones on, because I've got to hear it, and I don't usually wear headphones, but, um, I just realised how noisy I am. Does that go out when I'm sort of... Does. Like, does it really? Yes. So when I'm sort of like tapping and writing and that, because you can, because it's really clear. Everyone can hear that. Really? Yeah. The thing about that microphone, Rick, is it doesn't just pick up your voice. <laughs> it picks up all the things. <laughs> oh. That must be- Are like you scratching now? <laughs> it's yeah. you, it's, I don't I know. know what it is, you've that got there, some be... kind of rash. Well look, look, it's eczema, I think. Look, what's that? Oh. Eczema, yeah. Oh god, and what's that one then? That's oh. just one of your enormous oh, that... fat tits. What's that? Um, but yeah, that must be irritating to listen mm. to it. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, sure. If your voice weren't bad enough- <laughs> Yeah, I've got- and moving the mic- Moving I the mic then, that yeah. makes a noise. Lena. Eating sandwiches, <laughs> drinking coffee. <laughs> yeah. Right, come on then, Carl. Right, so, the film is Kez. You gotta listen to it properly, at the end there'll be a question about what's happened in there, yeah. so you gotta listen to it all I in. love the fact that in um, pole position, in, in positions one and two of his favourite films of all time, it's The Elephant Man and Kez. Yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. Go on. All right. Am I leaving the mics open a bit when this is going out, yeah, or Yeah, let's have a listen. Yeah? Yeah. All right. All right. Don't talk then, right? Just put that hot dog down, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the bit in Kez, where it's the teacher, and, and, and he gets up and he has to Glover. talk. Glover? What's his name? Is it Brian Glover? No, no. No. No, it's What's the other the, teacher. The other one. Anyway. Right. Go on. Alright, so, here we go. Things that had actually happened. Oh, yeah. What about you, Casper? Casper! Alright. Alright? Alright. 
You haven't been listening to a word I've said, have you? Yeah, I heard, uh, heard some of it. Yeah, you. Some of it? Just. Stand up! Always somebody, isn't there, eh? <coughs> right, now you're going to tell us a story about yourself. What sort of story? I want you to think of an incident that happened to you sometime in the past that is true and that you think will interest the rest of the class. All right? All right. Uh, uh, what about... Uh, I, work, I work on a um, on a radio show at the weekend. Well, are you going to tell us about it? I'll just, um, just do... It's two hours and it's, it's with Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant and uh, just sort of play music and, you know, tell stories and stuff. What kind of stories? Well, whatever. Like, last week it was science. We were talking about uh, this lad who was growing uh, a, a knob on his arm, so... <laughs> it's weird. It's tricky, sir, because, like, with Ricky, he, he gets bored quick and he won't listen to the stories and he'll start squeezing my head. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'm not interested in what he does. Well, that isn't... That isn't normal, is it, sir, that? I mean, it sure is a bit gay. Is he? <laughs> Just messes about, though. Do you know what I mean? I try and, like, come up with good stuff. Like monkey news and, like, quizzes and stuff. But... Then he'll just, you know, Ricky will just mess about. I mean, on, on Saturday he did it again, he, he, he squoze my head. How do you spell that? Squoze. S Q. Right, right, I'm going to show another one. It's a new word to me. Uh, squoze is S Q U O Z E. I can't tell us what it is. It's when, um, it's when he, he gets my head and he puts one hand on the back of it, right? And he puts the other hand on the front of it, and he just sort of swivels Swivel, it. Swivel, right down the back. Oh, swivels, not a... It's spelled S-W-I-D... Like that. How many times a day? How many times a day does, does he swivels it? It depends what time he, you know, what time he gets in. If he gets in about half past twelve, he could get a good three in. But, but I think, you know, I don't, don't really want to talk about... Good enough, don't you? Well done, Billy. Three hundred applause. <laughs> that is that the effort. Yeah. Uh, wow. That that's uh, that's the best thing you've ever done, Carl. So that's that's Kez, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Got some good prizes there. Not bad. Yeah. Good stuff. Question is, how many times did I say Ricky can get how many how many head squeezes <laughs> can he get in before the start of the show? Right. So if you were listening properly. <laughs> The answer's in there, right? right? And win some, got some good stuff got there. Some DVDs, DVDs in there, and some uh, CDs, including some Jimi Hendrix stuff and uh, other odds and ends. Good stuff. All Brilliant. Right. And just text in uh, 83 XFM. All right? All right. All right. Eddie and the Hot Rods, do anything you want to do. On XFM 104.9. All right? Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Right. Well, we've had loads of entries for the how many times did I squoze his head. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, well, the answer was three, wasn't it? Yeah. And who's the winner, Steve? Let's give it to John. He's emailed in, he's got it right. He said he squoezed your head three times on sure. average. It's not squoze, is it, Carl? That's incorrect. It's squoze, isn't it? Uh, it depends how you say it. Go uh, on. Squoze. Well, it doesn't really, because it's nonsense anyway. It's not a real word, but. You squoze my head. Yeah. I will squeeze your head. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Depends yeah. what, what line you're getting it in. Sure. Tense. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Any monkey news? Any educating Ricky? Anything else? Um, I don't feel that you've had Monday off yet, because it's just two hours and you only did, did about five minutes of it. Yeah, but that, that took a bit of time to make. Well, that's your own right. fault. Um, yeah, but I bet you didn't do it Monday. I bet you did it on another day. I had to come in Monday, didn't I? Yeah, I didn't but, I bet, but I bet you'll do that on another day, so you're taking the piss even more, so you're doing it when you should be doing other stuff. Right. You've still got Monday off and mm. you've got two hours here. So, you're laughing either way. So don't give me that. So, do you know what I mean? What else you got? Monkey news. Yeah. Well, let's do monkey news. You want to do it now? Yeah. Oh, we may as well have some monkey news. Let's have Sorry, some monkey news. Some monkey news. You made enough noise there, really? You wanna... Sorry, but it's, it, uh, sometimes I like to move around, lounge and that, and at the mic. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, well, let's have the jingle. We've not heard it for a while. Oh! Chimpanzee that! Monkey news, you f- yep. Right. Um, 
I haven't read this through properly. Oh, so <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just assumed oh, that. Right. What do you mean you haven't read it through well, properly? Basically, right, it's it's um, it's about problems with chat rooms and that, right? A lot of people, it's like the new way of meeting people and that, isn't it now? Chat rooms, you get on there, you can Right, have a chat. if you say someone was having a, a <laughs> meeting with someone, <laughs> they wanted to meet. It. Right, okay. Please don't preempt but, it. Right, there is, no, there is not an animal in the world that right, can operate and understand. Do you know the story? <laughs> You and said, you said that Did they get kids... married? It was three months later, and she realised, oh, there's a lot of bananas gone from my fridge. <laughs> See, what I want me, a sir. divorce. This is what annoys Bobo. me. Bobo. <laughs> you, you say that monkeys can do Shakespeare if they've, if they're given the time. No! That's let's not it! Let's not get into the it's whole Shakespeare It's a philosophical monkeys. conundrum. Please, right. let's not get into that debate again. We'll it's about the, it's about uh, yeah, yeah. infinity. Right, so this one, this one, then. Oh. So this chat room, right? And the thing is, with chat rooms, uh, you have like a big boss who's looking over it and making sure nothing dodgy is going on. Right. Right. So certain keywords come up and all, who's all that. Who's that, Doctor Zayas? <laughs> right. So anyway, they were they were looking over it, trying to look for for dodgy stuff, but they kept coming over like really strange things. Like instead of saying, "Do you want to meet in a restaurant or a bar?" Right. It'd be like, "Do you want to meet in a tree?" What tree do you want to meet? Right. On? Okay. <laughs> Are you shooting that's off? The end, yeah. I'll see you later. Anyway. I'm just gonna that. listen to the end of it anyway. It's, you're an idiot. You're an idiot if you believe that shit. Honestly. No, I'm just I'm just telling you let's, what's, let's, what's let's, online. Let's let's, let's well, hear uh, the rest uh, of it. How you you are you're nearly you're, you're ill. You're nearly you. You, okay, right. well, I don't have the PC term for this, so I really apologise. You're nearly retarded in some aspects. Um, yeah. Instead of sort of saying where something sexy, they'd say make sure you bring plenty of bananas. Right, you're like talking that. absolute. Okay. Are you making up the monkey news now because you can't find it anymore? And instead of saying should we get married, they're saying how swollen and red is your ass? <laughs> Do you you're stupid what? fool. Do you no, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Ronson and ooh wee on XFM. Well, what a great show mm -hmm. we've had. Informative. It's been fun. Uh, yeah, we've learnt some, haven't we? Yep. What have we learnt? All well, sorts well, of stuff. We've, well, we've learnt the is an idiot. Yes. That he believes that monkeys can get on. That's more of a confirmation of. It really, we yeah, yeah. We, we always suspect it, but that's that. Uh, I just so. read a little email um, from someone who just said that in t in Northern Ireland there is a town called Muff. Is there? Yeah, it's worth knowing. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else do we learn? Uh, monkey news. Uh, um, no one's got anything like monkey no. news on radio. Have no. they? <laughs> Think of that as a boast. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. No one has got anything like this gout. Yeah. You, you call that a boil? <laughs> look at this. that and look where it is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Brilliant. We've okay. not uh, heard sadly back from that woman, um, from Switzerland. Haven't we? I know you threw out a question. Yeah, I just I just thought I wanted to find out whether the, who the Swiss really, well I say they're neutral, but I, I would assume they'd be rooting for us and keeping quiet. You'd hope so. Whenever Germans went through, I went, oh yeah, well, yeah, whoever wins, yeah, but they're going, oh. <laughs> exactly. Whereas with us, they're going, alright lads, alright lads, do you want some chocolate? Yeah. Here's a cooker cock. No, don't let it go off, I'm hiding. Yeah. Know yeah. what I mean? Sure, sure, but, sure. But, uh, they better, they better want uh, uh, us to win, because it wasn't for us, and we'd have let fascism go in there and, uh, they'd be speaking, Bloody German and Italian all over the place, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> I think they do. Huh? I think they do. What? They do speak German and Italian. Why? Why? <laughs> I don't know. They just couldn't be bothered to come up with their own language and they chose that one, I suppose. Or they chose those. What's the point of being foreign if you don't speak English? I've no idea. I, you'd have to ask them. That's mental. I don't know. What would I do if I went there? You, well, you wouldn't. Why would you go? They don't speak the language. If you're going to have to choose a language to speak, choose English. English. Even the Dutch, they've got their own language, but they don't speak they it because it, it. Well, it sounds silly. Yeah. So they speak English. Of course they do. You see, do Dutch people, yeah. so in Amsterdam, um, with clogs on, they'd be, they'd be chatting, chatting in away. English. In English, yeah. and proud of it. Yeah. Oh, God, there was a, I was there once and there was a, there was a mouse. Right. <laughs> just there on the stair. <laughs> right. it, was a, it was a little mouse with clogs on. Yeah. Where? Yeah. On there. <laughs> on, on the stair, stair yeah. Oh. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's language. We learned about languages, didn't we? I'm not a linguist, but I pretty much think, that's what happens. <laughs> yeah. Tell you something I learned in the week. Go on. Yeah. This will um, be one thing. He it, it, it definitely learned only one thing this week. It's a good one, though. Don't insult Suzanne's hair. I learned two things. Go right, on. This week. <laughs> yeah. Right? Um, Don't put your trousers on over your head. Because <laughs> I know you're persevering uh, with that for a while. Mercury may look nice, but it's bad for you. <laughs> Go on. Um, there are more moves on a chessboard than particles in the universe. That puts you off learning it, doesn't it? Well, no, it's a possibility. No, no, they it's said it is. It is. It said that that's. Yes, that's right. It's the possibility because it's it's basically that it turns towards infinity because no two games are the same. So it's not that you've got to learn that many moves. 
Uh, it's not that good. I don't wish to criticise Rick, because I know you were trying to inform him then. It's a good job you're not a teacher, because as you gabbled the phrase, it tends towards infinity, yeah. it kind of came out as... <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Imagine if, you're, imagine if you're one of those kind of foreign <laughs> students who's gone here to study, and they, you know, sometimes they put, what, the, tape, they put the tape recorder by the, uh, yeah. by the lecturer. Yeah. Listen back to that, <laughs> it, It's something towards infinity, I'm not sure. <laughs> Tense towards infinity? <laughs> it is talking about tense. <laughs> yeah. I not understand. Cuckoo. So, uh, yeah, we've all- We've, we've all had learned. a good time. We've all had a few We've lives. had a great time. Can I just say to everyone, have a great Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> all right, see you, you later. Like, you, like, you like the thorns, you played the thorns. Love the thorns I think you'll enjoy th this. It's an old track from Hawksley Workman. Brilliant. Bad name, good song. See you next week. <laughs>